Hey everybody, it's your girl, Hey Johnson, coming to you from La Hose Hair and Wigs. Today, real simple topic. A lot of people, they always asking, well, what's the difference between an $89 human hair wig and an $800 human hair wig? So easy, so simple. I'm gonna make it quick and easy. All right, so if you look at these two wigs, which one do you think costs more than the other? I'm gonna let the timer stop. Right, if you pick this one, this is the more expensive wig. This wig is probably only $89, and they're both human, both of them are human, but what makes the difference between an $89 wig and a $899 or a $699 wig? It is the process. It is how much work went into that wig. Let's start out by just the hair alone. Because a lot of times, especially in hair factories, what happens is this wig was made. I'm gonna tell you the whole, I'm gonna break it all down. This is breaking news. Do -do 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 -do. Film that 11. Let me tell you, this hair is the more expensive wig. So this wig is $699. That's right, $699. I'm gonna tell you why. The quality of the hair is what's gonna take it all the way up over three and four hundred dollars just because of the quality. As they make the wig, you're talking about one donor, which causes the hair to be more expensive because that means it's coming from one ponytail and you don't have a cross culture of hair, meaning maybe some of the hair is from the girl from India, maybe some of the hair is from the girl from China, and then they put the hair together. Well, that doesn't mean that that hair is going to blend. So when they say one donor, that means it's cut off of one person, one person ponytail. They then treat the hair, put it in wefts, or this is the sign right here. This will determine how much a wig costs too. The lace, this is a delicate, very fragile material, and every single strand was placed in string by string string, fiber by fiber, strand by strand. That's what makes it more expensive because this can take almost six, well I'll say 30 to 60 days it would take to make a, especially a full lace wig. So this is the front lace. So you're paying for the lace, you're paying for the hair, and you're paying for this quality of the cap. This cap is lighter, it's smoother, it lays so much more comfortable to your scalp. Also, the more wig costs, that means it's more, a little bit more custom. So the reason why I wanted to point out the fact that when they're making a human hair wig, did you know it's called fallen hair? That's right, fallen hair, like falling, like falling out the tree, leaves fall off the tree. It's called fallen hair. The hair that is left over from making an expensive wig, they then gather all of that hair up. They then process it. It can no longer be considered Remy hair because you know that was a buzzword that everybody used. Oh, I got Remy hair, I got Remy hair. What does Remy hair really mean? People don't know, they were just saying whatever that today buzzword was. Well, Remy hair, this will be Remy, and this is a non-Remy. Non-Remy mean it is picked up from the floor, it is treated and processed, so that means it's a low-grade hair. It doesn't have the quality features as this one. This wig is literally $89, this one is $6.99. They look the same, even in the density. What's different is, as I showed you, the cap, okay? So this is more like a full cap, and then this one is a lace cap. You always will be able to tell the difference by how the wig lays, how it also colors. The purer the hair is, is gonna color all so much better. The cheaper a human hair wig is, it doesn't color as well because it's been processed so many times and a lot of times they pick the hair up from the floor, they have to process it because Remy means strands going in one direction. It means the cuticles are all going in one direction. When you pick it up off of the floor, some of the hair go this way, some of the hair go that way. They gather the hair, they strip off the cuticle that's now considered non-Remy hair. And then they pull it together and they make a wig. So that's why that wig is so cheap because it's not really from a donor, it's gathered by many donors. And I want you to, when I say donors, that's many ponytails that have come together to make this inexpensive human hair wig. Yes, it's human, but it's low quality human hair. This is one donor. That's why that one costs more than that one. I hope that this has helped you. Again, this is Hape Johnson. Any questions that you may have, please put it down in the comment section. Anything you want to ask me, ask me in the comment section. I promise. I may do a video. I'll shout you out. Thank you again. I hope you subscribe and make sure you like this video. I will see you in the next one.